We've done well this morning, little red tractor. The cows have been milked, the pigs fed. Hey, let's call into Rose Cottage and see how Amy is getting on with her garden. Imagine where they've all come from. But what are they? Moles, sweetheart. But moles are really cute. Why would they do this to our garden? They have to live somewhere, and I'm afraid they've chosen here. <laughs> Morning, all. Oh, Stan, look! Our garden's ruined. You have moles by the look of it. What can we do? Can we get rid of them? <gasps> you mustn't hurt them. Hmm. I'll have to give this some thought. It's been a while since we've had moles around here. Don't worry, Amy. I'm sure I can help. Leave it with me. Thanks, Stan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Dad's forgotten a whole load of stuff again. Dad? Dad? Hello, girl. What's up? You forgot half the stuff I asked you to get again. Oh, um. Ah. Oh. Now I'm going to have to drive into Babble Brook and get it. Nah, that's all right. I'll get it. Can I trust you not to forget anything? Me? Forget? I've got a memory like a... like a... like a... like a whatchamacallit? Elephant? Yeah, one of them. <sighs> I'll write you a list. That'll do it. A list, yeah. You can't go wrong with a list. Right. We need fresh bread. Oh, and a garden rake for Laura Turvey. Bread. Rake. Free-range eggs. Tractor oil for Stan. Eggs and cake and a garden rake. Bread, not cake. But bread doesn't rhyme. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, a set of little thimbles for Elsie. Hello, a customer. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Shop! Walter! Oh, hello, Mr Jones. Nah, just a minute. Listen, can you get away for a spot of fishing this afternoon? I have to dash into Babblebrook to pick up some stuff for Nicola, but it won't take long. Well, Chop Chop, I'll meet you when you get back, but keep it quiet, eh? Don't want anyone taking our spot. <laughs> no worries. I'll get off now. Catch you later. There you go. Now Dad won't forget anything. Oh, no! Dad! Wait! You forgot... The list! Oh, Dad... Good oh, morning, Stan. Wasn't expecting to see you this morning. I need your help, Stumpy. That's why I'm here. Oh, fire away. What can I do for you? Well, it's not for me, actually. It's the Turvies. I'm afraid moles have made themselves at home in their garden. They've made a terrible mess and poor Amy's beside herself. You know how she loves her garden. <laughs> moles, eh? <laughs> exactly. The thing is, I've promised to try and help. Stumpy? <laughs> Oh, I always pace when I'm thinking. I've got it. I remember now, my old dad's way of getting rid of moles was to blow smoke down one end of their tunnel, and then when they'd pop up for a breath of fresh air, he'd catch them. Don't worry, little red tractor. We can't do that, Stumpy. Amy doesn't want to hurt the little moles. She just wants them to move on. Oh, oh, I see. Hmm, well, I... You're not going to pace again, are you? What was that? Are you all right, little red tractor? Oh, take no notice. She does that occasionally. I think the sails need a bit of oil. That jolt went right through me. The ground shook. <laughs> that would certainly scare the moles away. <laughs> would it that? Except we're not going to be able to carry this old windmill over to Rose Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that does give me an idea. That's what we need to make the moles move. A vibration. Hmm. That could work. Now, let me think. I reckon it's all right, Stumpy. Don't start pacing. We've taken up enough of your time. We'll think of something. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oops, I forgot the list. Still, I'm sure I remembered everything. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, fresh bread, check. Two dozen eggs. Free range, check. 
Garden rake for Mrs. Turvey. Check. Tractor oil for Stan. Check again! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my memory. Now, what's next? Oh, yeah. And a set of thimbles for Elsie. Thimbles? Thimbles? Oh, no. I thought she said windmills. I've got it wrong again. Nicola's not going to be happy. Oh, hi, Dad. You're back. Did you get everything? Everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well done. I was worried because you forgot the list. Who needs a list? <laughs> I'll help you put everything away. No! Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I can manage. You take it easy. OK. Thanks, Dad. What am I going to do with a box of windmills? <sighs> I'm just going to have to hide them. That's all. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Off fishing then. Shh, not so loud. We don't want anyone to take our spot. We? Yes, I'm going with Walter. Promises to be a successful day. Well, before you go, I wonder if you can help me. Anything's done, anything, so long as it's quick. The turvies are having a problem with moles. Rather them than us, then. Well, that's not very neighbourly. Listen, I have an idea. We might be able to make the moles move if we can get the ground to vibrate. Oh, I see. You want me to drive Big Blue all over their garden. <laughs> no, definitely not. Any other ideas? I would love to help, Stan. Really, I would. But, well, I have to go fishing. Oh, um, OK. Well, maybe Walter will have an idea about how to help me with these moles. Oh, no! If Nicola sees the windmill, she'll know I got the order wrong. Dad! Where has he got to now? Hi, Nicola. Is Walter around? He was here, Stan. But he seems to have, um... He's behind the tiles. Dad? What were you doing behind there? I was, uh... Oh, you know, just, um... Counting tires. What are you doing with those windmills? What windmills? Windmills. That's it. That's just what we need. What? Huh? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go, Stan. One box of windmills. Your windmills? Yes, they're for a little project that I'm working on. Project? Yeah, yeah, the project. <laughs> here they are, Stan, as you ordered. Thanks. And has my oil arrived? I think Stumpy may need it to oil his windmill sails. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, that will be the windmills and the oil. Two things I remembered. <laughs> Walter, are we going fishing or not? Fishing? But I thought you were... Oh, did I forget to mention the fishing? I think there are even more mole hills now. Here's Stan and little red tractor. Maybe he's found a way to make the moles go away. Windmills? Why have you got so many? I have a plan. What we need to do is plant the windmills all over the garden. Why? Trust me, I think this may solve your problem with the moles. And it will make the garden look really cool. Come on, Amy. I've done one, Stan. Hey, Stan, I think these look much better than boring old flowers. They look great! But how will they get rid of the moles? As the wind blows them around, they'll vibrate through the soil. This will irritate the moles and in no time, they'll move off completely unharmed to somewhere more peaceful. You're a genius! <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Stumpy and Little Red Tractor helped. Well, I think you both saved the day. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you two. Why the long faces? We have to do a school project about the countryside. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. But it's the weekend. We should be having fun. Why not make it fun? That's what I do. Whenever I have to do a job I don't like, I always try to find a way to make it fun. You can't make schoolwork fun. Of course you can. Here, I'll show you. Ah, here we go. General knowledge. Perfect. In here, I have a couple of homemade buns. Each time you get a question right, you take a step forward. 
First one to reach Little Red Tractor gets a bun. Easy peasy, I'll win. Oh, no, you won't. OK, are you ready? Ready! What animals on a farm provide wool for clothing? Sheep! <laughs> one step forward for Amy. Hey, that's a huge step. <laughs> Question two for Ryan. What do you call someone who works the land? A farmer! Correct. One pace forward. My question now. Where does milk come from? Cows. Yeah, I won. But I've still got a question left. Well, that was the last question in that section. But I think you both did well enough to earn your reward. Yeah! We now have to try and get photographs of all your answers. Photograph you, Stan. You're a farmer. Well, not today. Today I'm the question master. What about Mr. Jones? Come on, let's go see if he's in. Oh, this is just too difficult. Hello, Mr. Jones. Problem with Big Blue? What? Oh, ah, hello. Mm. Hi. A slight scratch from the accident. Accident? Oh. Years oh. earlier. But I'm more concerned. Are you okay? Fine, fine. Um, actually, it could have been a lot worse. I was driving along, you see, carefully watching the road like a good driver should, when from out of nowhere comes water, singing away, blatantly not paying attention to the road. And then in here's Stumpy, with the usual level of control. If it wasn't for my quick thinking... Stop! Stop! Look out! Well, I'll tell you. It could have been very nasty. You don't say. Oh, yes, I do. Still, more pressing matters at hand. Wellington boots. I have to go to Babblebrook to get some new ones. The problem is, what colour? Yellow! Red! Red's best! Blue would match your tractor. <laughs> of course. Excellent. If they were yellow, you'd never lose them. Hmm, true. Oh, I don't know. Well... We'll leave you to it to make up your own mind. But before we head off, any chance we could take your picture? It's for our school project. Of course. How about here? Thanks, Mr Jones. See you later. Pleasure. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Stumpy. You can take Nip around to the workshop. Nicola's ready for him. Rightio. Oh, and Walter, uh, can I have some toffees? No problem. Hello, you lot. Hi, Walter. Are you OK after the accident? Oh, that? Um, uh, yeah, uh, fine, yeah, yeah. Now, that was a close one, you see. I was, um, yeah, that's it. I was, um, I was driving along really concentrating. I mean, you never know what's round in the next corner. When from out of nowhere comes Mr Jones with something over his face. Then along comes Stumpy. And he was all over the shop. What was I to do? I had to think fast. Stop! Stop! Look out! It was very close. But it could have... Uh, it could have been nasty. Very nasty indeed. Hmm. Well, that's slightly different to how Mr Jones remembers it. <laughs> oh, here's Stumpy. Um, I'd better go get his toffees. We heard about the accident. Oh, yeah, that was a close one. Lucky I acted so quick. You acted so quick? Yeah, I was driving along very carefully, see, just like normal, when from out of nowhere comes Mr Jones, reading a paper, not looking where he's going at all. And then Walter suddenly appears. Must have been one of his faves on the radio. Well, I had to think fast. Stop! Stop! Look out! It was very close. Oh, and I managed to lose my hat too. But it could have been nasty. I just wish I could find my hat. We'll have a look for you. We've already got to go and look for a few things for our photographs. Yeah, we'll find it. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> One bag of toffees. Oh, 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 oh thanks. Hmm. Something doesn't add up. What do you mean? Well, look at the marks. 
They only happen when you put the brakes on really hard. But there's three sets of marks. Exactly. Mr Jones said he stopped first. So did Walter and Stumpy. But it looks like they all had to brake really hard. At, at the, the same, same time. time. You're good at this. Now, if we can work out which of these tracks was left by Nipper, we can start looking for Stumpy's hat. Nipper's a lot smaller than Big Blue and Sparky. That must be them there. Then Stumpy's hat would have gone this way. I can't see it. No, but look. Hey, Prince! Veronica! The question is, where is she? We should follow the hoof prints. Let's go. Not Veronica. But we do need a photo of a sheep. Come on, the hoof prints go on further. I don't believe it. Veronica! <laughs> well, very nice. I would have got purple myself. Just the chaps. Do you find it? Well, we went to the accident site. We had to do some detective work. We had to follow the clues. The funny thing is, the clues don't match up with the stories you all told. <sighs> <clears throat> we believe that, just like Walter and Stumpy said, Mr Jones was driving down the road trying to read a magazine. What? <laughs> when Walter drives in, he's singing along to the radio. I... And not looking where he's going... Then Stumpy drives in on Nipper. He's completely out of control. All three reached the T-junction. Luckily, everyone managed to stop. Although you all should have been driving a lot more carefully. Uh, sorry. I told you a fib. I was a little embarrassed because you're right, I, I should have been driving more carefully. And, uh, well, I was distracted by the Wellington boot catalogue. <laughs> sorry. Oh, well, I'm sorry too. Uh, I was driving too fast and not wearing my crash hat. You should be more careful. I think you were all very lucky. Yeah, uh, very true. Oh, oh, thinking about ads. I don't suppose with your great detective work you managed to detect my old cloth hat? Yep. Veronica was wearing it. Little Red Tractor helped us find it. Oh, oh thank you all. <laughs> Here, have some toffees as a reward. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Here's a good question. What do you think the most important piece of equipment is to a farmer? Beats me, that's a taffy. I know! Ah, got it. Mr Jones, is it his Wellington boots? <laughs> no, afraid not. Me! Pick me! Now, uh, yes, Stumpy? Is it his hat? <laughs> no. Come on, Stan! OK, Ryan and Amy. His tractor! <laughs> Mm, could you be a little more precise? Little Red Tractor! Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Patch. I need to put this out of the way so I can finish cleaning the barn. This is going to look great when it's finished. Yeah, especially once we've painted it. Maybe Stan's got some red paint. Then it'll look like Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Sorry, old boy. You're going to have to move again. When we put Patch's blanket inside, it'll look really cosy. Hello, Patch. You'll have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> it won't take long, Patch. I think all Patch wants is somewhere quiet to lay down. I'm afraid I've cluttered up all his favourite spots. We'll be finished soon, then he'll have his own kennel. Hey, now that's looking pretty good. We're going to paint it too. Have you got any red paint, Stan? Sorry, I don't. But I know a man who has. How about we all take a drive out to Walter's garage? Yeah! <laughs> Hmm. 
Driving along in my rusty old car. Do 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 It always breaks down, so I never get far. Oh, come on, I was only kidding. Oi, oi, oi. Hold up. Oh, no. Ah, ah. No, no, stop. Stop. Oh, no brakes. Ah, ah. That was close. Now, if you stay exactly where you are, I'll promise to cut down on the singing. All right? Now, does that mean we have a deal, then? Right. Are you both ready? Yeah. All together, then. Come, Come on, on, little red, red tractor. tractor. Let's, Let's go. go. Gonna need some help. Now, um, Stan must be the closest, and if I cut across the field, yeah, yeah. Now, it won't be long, you, you old tight girl. Here we go, one pot of red paint. Oh, I hope there's enough in there for a dog kennel. Great! Thanks, Nicola. No problem. What do I owe you? Oh, I don't know what to charge for half a tin of old paint. Um, shall we say. Nothing? Free? You've got a deal. Now, I'd better get back to my spring cleaning. Oh, yeah, me too. See you all later. Bye. 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 Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh, what happened? <laughs> There you go. A nice clean barn for you, little red tractor. How are you two getting on? We're nearly done. There. Well, I have to say you've done a great job. Now all that's left is to see what the new owner thinks of it. Yeah, where is he? If I know Patch, he's probably asleep somewhere. Patch! Patch? No, it's me, Walter. Patch is shorter, more hairy. Um, look, you seen, uh... Ah, Stan! Walter, everything all right? No, not really, no. No, not at all. Uh, got a problem with me motor. Not broken down again? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, Rust is sort of, uh... Sort of hanging off a cliff. Could do with some help. Hanging off a cliff? There's no time to lose, then. Everyone into the trailer. Come on, little red tractor. Rusty needs our help. Right, let's get going. I've got the rope tied on already, look. Good. Can you tie the other end to Little Red Tractor? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Walter was really lucky. Yeah. I wonder how far down it is. Oi, look out, you two. I was only looking. Well, don't. You should stay back, it's not safe. Right. Forward, little red tractor. Easy does it. Go on, little red tractor, you can do it! <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa there! Oh, thanks, you two. Are you... Hey, that sounds like... Patch! Patch? No, it can't be. He wouldn't be all the way up... Patch? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Patch. We'll save you. Yeah, stay there. We'll save you. How are we going to do that? Is Patch OK? I think so, but we'd better hurry. That ledge he stood on doesn't look safe. Right. I think this should be long enough. Hold on, Patch. Hmm. Now we need something to make a sling. Oh, I don't know. I... It's all getting a bit much for me. Eh? Perfect. Hey, my Anki! That's it, Patch. Just step into the sling. Right. Hold on to the rope till I take up the slack. OK, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Nice and slow, little red tractor. Hold on, Patch! Hold on, Walter. Oh. That's it, Stan, keep going! Hold it! And back up! There you go, little doggy. Safe and sound. You all right, boy? <coughs> Poor Patch. He's certainly come a long way to find a quiet spot. We've finished your kennel now, Patch. That'll be nice and quiet. Boy, what a day, Stan! Here. I reckon Rusty and Patch would have been goners if it weren't for you and Little Red Tractor. That sounds like a thank you. Thanks, Thanks Little, Little Red, Red Tractor! Tractor. Tractor. <laughs> 